Extreme storms, hotter seasons. With a specialized degree in climate, he's pioneering the way we look at climate and how it affects our weather. Now, climate specialist Jeff Berardelli. In today's climate classroom, is it hot or is it you? It's been hot. In fact, it's been the hottest summer on record so far in Tampa. And last month, July, it was the hottest all-time month. Not just the hottest all-time July, but the hottest all-time month. The average temperature was 86.3 degrees. Now, this might not mean too much to you, but I can tell you as a meteorologist, we beat the old record by a half a degree Fahrenheit. That is impressive when you're talking about the all-time hottest month. We set 10 records during the month of July. And a big reason for that is our mornings are warming up. Sure, our high temperatures are warming too, but mornings are warming rapidly, almost four degrees since 1970, over a very short period of time. In fact, I actually dug into the numbers. This is what I found. 57% of the record warm mornings have happened in the past seven years. Now, keep in mind, we've been keeping records in Tampa 132 years. That is very impressive, but it's not just morning lows. It's also daytime highs. 28% of our record hot days have happened in the past seven years. Tampa records of dating back over 100 years. So what is going on here? It's two reasons. Number one, urban heat island effect. So a lot of people have moved to the Tampa Bay area. We're building a lot of infrastructure. There's a lot of asphalt, concrete, and that traps more heat. And so temperatures over the downtown area tend to be hotter. We measure the temperatures at the airport, and the airport's been expanding, and the airport has become bigger. And so our temperatures have gone up. That's number one. Number two, Globally and even regionally, what's more important is climate change. Air and water temperatures have warmed up by around 2 degrees Fahrenheit. What that's doing is it's actually trapping more water vapor in the atmosphere. So we're seeing more clouds, more water vapor, and that's trapping more heat. Now, at night, when heat tries to escape, it gets bounced back down to the surface by this water vapor and by these clouds, and that traps excess heat. And that's why the mornings are warming up so fast. If you want more information from our climate classroom, go to WFLA.com. Jeff Berardelli, 8 on your side.